Good morning students welcome to the solar sir classes i am dr anshri panchal and today we are going to discuss the mitosis and the meiosis of the biology so guys mitosis and the meiosis is the one of the most breath taking topics in the biology when it's come to understanding and remembering so i try to keep it easy and simple for you so let's understand it so guys have you ever wondered about the growth and development in the human being I am sure you have must seen the children in the society. So, have you ever thought about how the growth happens in the children? So, let me tell you about the how the growth development it happens with the help of a mitosis and meiosis, and what there is significance in that. So, to understand that, first you need to understand the concept of cell cycle. I'm not going to tell you about the whole cell cycle thing. I'm just going to tell you the significance of the mitosis and the meiosis. So. Cell cycle has a two main events. The first is the preparatory phase, and the second is the dividing phase. If it comprises a cell cycle, it comes with the two phases: the preparatory phase and the dividing phase. The preparatory phase is called the interphase. What is called? It's called the interphase. And the dividing phase is denoted by the M phase. So the dividing phase is denoted by the M phase, and the preparatory phase is known as the interphase. This M here is refers for the mitosis or meiosis. This M denotes the mitosis or the meiosis, and depending upon the cell. Which event is going to occur? Its name. If it's going under the mitosis, it's called the mitotic phase, and if it's going under the meiosis, it's called the meiotic phase. Let's understand the mitosis and the meiosis in the comparative table to give you the easy review about the these two things. So, guys, as I told you, the we are going to understand the mitosis and the meiosis from the tabulated forms. So, let's keep it as a very easy in form of the tabulation. In order to understand the mitosis and the meiosis, let's see the differences between them. The general difference is the mitosis. Mitosis occurs in the somatic cells. You have to remember this. The mitosis occurs in the somatic cells, and the meiosis is occurs only in the reproductive cells. The major and the conceptual difference between the mitosis and the meiosis is mitosis is going to happen in the somatic cells, and the meiosis is going to be happen in the reproductive cells. So. mitosis occurs in all living organism all living organism except the viruses yeah you have to also remember this the mitosis is happening in the all living organism except the viruses but the meiosis occurs in animal plants and fungi so you better understand the place and the organisms which are going under the mitosis and the meiosis mitosis is a phenomena which occurs in all living organism whereas meiosis is a phenomena which occurs in animal plants and the fungi so next we are going to discuss these two beautiful tables which make you remember the mitosis and the meiosis in the most simplest way from only seeing you can visible the two or three uh, differences between the mitosis and the meiosis the first is the They in the mitosis, there is a single plane of division, single step of division. So mitosis is a single step process, whereas the meiosis is a two-step process. Two-step process. You can easily make out from the meiosis diagram the division is happening in the two planes. So in meiosis, there is a two phases are going to meiosis one. And the meiosis too, and in the mitosis there is only mitosis phases coming, whereas in the meiosis there is a meiosis one and meiosis two stage. So this is the better understanding. And the second uh, difference you can spot only by seeing this diagram is the mitosis result in two daughter cells, two daughter cells. And these are going to be genetically identical. 
So guys, you have to remember when mitosis is happening in an organism or a cell. So it result is going to result in a two daughter cells which are going to be genetically identical. Whereas then in meiosis, you having the the resultant you having the four cells or the four gametes. These are called gametes. You have the four gametes which are genetically different. These are some very uh, small things you have to remember. But these gametes are going to be genetically different from the parent cell, and uh, these all the cells are going to be genetically identical. They are two in number. They are four in number. Next difference I am going to talk about is the number of chromosome. You have in the term the haploid and the diploid. My mitosis is a diploid, and meiosis gives you the haploid gametes. Yeah, you heard right. The parent cell have a chromosome number. They will have the same. The daughter cell have the same chromosome number. This is a diploid stage of a parent cell and the diploid stage of a daughter cell. But in case of meiosis, the parent cell is the diploid, but the gamete is haploid. All gametes having the haploid state of a chromosome. Hence, the main definition comes for the mitosis and the meiosis. What is the definition you have learned for the mitosis? Mitosis is a mitosis is a cell division which results in two daughter cell which are genetically identical so by these only by learning these uh, differences you can give the mitosis definition they are having the two daughter cell and they are going to be diploid in number and they are genetically identical but in case of meiosis it is a reduction reduction of the chromosome number by half by half to the parent cell so this is a cell division in which the reduction of the chromosome number is going to be half and in this there is a no reduction of the chromosome number so this reduction and the no reduction gives the different name to the mitosis and the meiosis mitosis is also known as the equational division Whereas the meiosis is known as the reductional division. So never get confused with the terms and the concept. This is called the equational because there is a diploid, uh, there is a diploid parent cell, diploid the daughter cell, and this is called the reductional division because the parent was the diploid and the gametes or the daughter cells were the haploid. So these are the some basic uh, differences between the mitosis and the meiosis. I'm going to tell you some more few differences between the mitosis and the meiosis to have a clear view of the meiosis and the mitosis. Now we are going to discuss the one more point and the one most important point of the mitosis and the meiosis. I have told you the mitosis and the meiosis basic differences, what the cell cycling happening and the not. But now I'm going to tell you about the process differences and what's the significance. So first we are going to dis uh, discuss the significance of the mitosis and the meiosis. So what's the significance of mitosis? Why the mitosis occurs in the body? The significance is mitosis helps in the healing and repairing of the organisms. Whenever you get a cut yourself or whenever the healing process occurs, it is done by the mitosis. One more significance is of the mitosis is the growth and the development of the organism is also done by the mitosis. At the start of lecture, I told you about the growth and development. So that also is done by the mitosis organism. But you have to learn one more thing. The mitosis is a mode of mode of asexual reproduction 
is a mode of asexual reproduction in lower organisms. Example, budding or the binary fusion. We have seen the binary fusion, the budding. Binary fusion happens in the bacteria and the budding happens in the yeast or the fungi. So you have to learn that the, it is a mode of asexual reproduction. It helps in both in development and it helps in healing and the repairing. And by this asexual reproduction, you may cross the term vegetative reproduction. So it's also the process or the other name of the asexual reproduction. So these are the main things about the mitosis. Here we done about the mitosis. Let's discuss the significance of the uh, meiosis. What is the significance of the meiosis? Meiosis, as I told you, happens in the reproductive cells. So this happens in the sexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, meiosis, meiosis helps in the formation of a gametes. And what are the gametes? Sperms and the ovum. Sperm is formed by the spermatogenesis, ovum is formed by the oogenesis. The, the oogenesis and the spermatogenesis, both process involves the meiosis for the formation of the gametes. And for the, and these gametes are going to help in the sexual reproduction of an organism. And the second most important thing about the meiosis is the genetically diversity. Which is important for the evolution of a human beings or the organism. Genetically diversity is come from the meiosis. So these are the two main significance of the meiosis. That is the sexual reproduction, the gamete formation and the genetically diversity in the organisms. So here are some of the meiosis. And I am going to tell you the two main things about the mitosis and the meiosis. Mitosis have a four stages. But in case of meiosis, it has eight stages. You have to learn this only for the MCQ things. The four stages are called prophase, anaphase, metaphase, and the telophase. But in meiosis, there is eight stages which are like meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So here is the like prophase 1 and here is the prophase 2. So every event is going to occur the two times. The name is like this. Then the anaphase 1, anaphase 2, metaphase 1 and the metaphase 2 and the telophase 1 and the telophase 2. And this is going to happen in the mitosis and the meiosis. So I was telling you in the mitosis the prophase is a smaller in duration whereas in meiosis the prophase one is the longer phase is the most important question for the mcq point of view in the neat exam that you have to learn in the mitosis the prophase is the small, smaller in the duration and in the meiosis the prophase one in the longer uh, in the duration one more thing you have to learn is that there is no crossing over there is no crossing over in the prophase but in case of meiosis there is a crossing over in the prophase so you have to learn this these two things very efficiently that the there is no crossing over is happening in the prophase in the meiosis prophase when there is a crossing over going to be happen and there is a longer in the duration there is a smaller in the duration so these are the some basic differences significance of the mitosis and the meiosis and the process differences of the mitosis and the meiosis. So guys, there is so guys, there I sum up my lecture on the mitosis and the meiosis and I hope I made you understand this in a better way and still if you have any doubt, any query you can ask and we are just the WhatsApp away. So thank you.